how did it feel back on the ice uh, playing a game for the first time since uh, early January? Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely really exciting. I mean, you go through that whole stretch where again your season ends, are, and then it's, it's 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 amazing how much time kind of flies by, and it's all of a sudden it's almost nine months where you haven't played a game. So I was obviously really excited to get started, and uh, um, again, I think I've, I got a little bit better the second game than I was the first game, and just want to keep uh, building as the tournament goes on. When you uh, look at the USA squad, James, and we look at it and we say, listen, this is a team that looks like it's built uh, to really push and, and beat Team Canada. Uh, you're playing in a group uh, with Czech Republic, a uh, group of Team Europe as well, alongside Team Canada. Are there different ways to play different teams, or are the styles in hockey right now so similar that you don't need to prepare, You know, unlike 76 or 81, different ways to play against different teams? Yeah, you know, obviously, the again, the margin is so close between all the teams here. So, uh, again, a lot of it is, is very similar, but I think our team's pretty comfortable playing in different styles of game, whether it's a grind it out type of game or whether, uh, again, where, whether it opens up a bit and you have to kind of, again, go up and down the ice a little more. So I think we're comfortable in lots of different ways to play. And, uh, again, well, you have to be versatile in tournaments like this where there are teams kind of that are, do have that kind of different styles uh, that want to play against you. James, every team, uh, every player on this USA roster is a star uh, with their NHL team, and you played against all these guys and played with them in previous tournaments. But is there one guy on this roster that you're like, man, I knew this guy was good, but I didn't know he was this good? Wow, that's a that's a really good question. Um, I think just again, uh, we use, like you said, we have so much talent up and down the lineup. Uh, uh, yeah, and guys you see a lot over the course of uh, the years. But I'm trying to think if I can, if someone really fits that criteria. Because, I mean, again, there's not really any guys that were under uh, – the radar, at least in my opinion. I mean, a lot of these guys are, like you said, star players on their teams and uh, really accomplished um, players. But uh, I think it's when I got a chance to, again, sh shoot on all three of these goalies first time, I think that, I mean, again, you always, I don't know if this is my, I'm not playing for a long time, but uh, mm -hmm. they're being earned every time, every, every chance you get, every time you put one by them. So I think all three of these uh, goalies have been uh, really good. They give you three different looks too, don't they? Exactly. It's very, it's very interesting where you have the, again, all three different contrasting styles, but all three very successful styles. So uh, that's, that's, that's definitely a show that there's not one way to, to play that position. 20 years ago today, uh, a seven year old may or may not have been tuning in to a, to a game in, in Montreal mm. in which team USA beats team Canada. <laughs> Brett Hull deflects the, the puck in on Curtis Joseph and team USA wins the world cup of hockey, the first world cup of hockey. Uh, what do you remember about that tournament and, and its impact on you? I mean, again, you remember that was uh, the, the group of American players that has one of the the best legacies uh, over the course of uh, their careers. And now it's been a while since a, an American team has uh, won a goal at an international event. So, it's it's uh, again, it's time for, uh, for us to hopefully make that step. And we know it's going to be a big challenge with this tournament. And uh, we're excited to embrace that challenge and opportunity we have here for that. So... Um, yeah, it's really exciting. You can walk around the room and tell the guys, too, that's 20 years ago today. That's just a little free stat for you. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little fun fact. Yeah. There we go. 96 was, of course, huge for the Americans. 1980, that story is well told. 1960 uh, was a big one for the, the original Miracle on Ice as well. Um, and in Canada, we still make a lot about 1972. But if there was a Summit Series right now, eight games between Canada and the United States, I'm not interested in who wins that. But, James, considering what we saw in the first two games, what would the body count be after eight <laughs> games between Canada and the United States? Yeah, you know what? I think we need to expand the rosters a little yeah. bit and have a few <laughs> extra guys there because those, uh, especially for the two, two, first two games coming off the summer and exhibition games, uh, those were pretty intense and pretty uh, ho pretty hotly contested. So uh, those are those are really fun games to play in as players. And, uh Again, if it's a, if it's any sort of taste for uh, for the tournament and what the intensity is going to be like from game to game in the tournament, I think uh, the fans are going to be happy with that. James, you talk about the intensity. How much of that has got to do with John Tortorella's personality and the sandpaper type attitude he brings to every single game? It just seems, I mean, you've got two different personalities of, of your coach Mike Babcock to John Tortorella, but when you see Tortorella in, in post games. Uh, you know, and, and on the bench, it just seems like he's a miserable SOB all the time. Has that rubbed off on the guys? And is that why sometimes there's a little bit more grit being played out there with this by this USA team? 
Yeah, you know, he's definitely a, an intense guy and an energetic guy back there and uh, someone I've enjoyed playing for um, so far. But, uh, again, he's definitely got us all fired up uh, even more so than we already were, I think, to play the uh, to play the tournament. But, um, again, we're just really excited to get started now. we got the ex- exhibition games now under our belt, and uh, now, the, now the real stuff starts. So, uh, again, we've been waiting all summer for this, and uh, it's going to be a, a great tournament with some great hockey. And, uh, you know, we're excited for the challenge of that. 